So starting from 2019, we have a new discipline in constant weight called constant weight biofins, as opposed to constant weight monofin. In this video, I'll be explaining you what to choose in a freediving competition, biofins or monofin. Coming up. Hey, what's up, Gert from GertLira.com, peace in every breath. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm a freedive instructor, I dive on breath hold, and this channel is all about helping you find peace through freediving. And today I'm going to explain you what to choose in a freediving competition, monofin or bifin. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So before 2019 in ADA competitions, the international organization that's well organizes freediving competitions, there was only one discipline for constant weights and you could choose monofin or bifins, it didn't really matter. But starting from 2019, things have changed. We have a different, separate discipline now for bifins and another one for monofin. Now this also applies to pool. So instead of having one discipline dynamic, we have now dynamic bifins and dynamic monofin. So let's talk about constant weight for a depth competition. So before, we only had one discipline and you could just choose monofin or bifins, it, doesn't, it didn't really matter. But now as we have separate disciplines, it does make a difference because sometimes, not necessarily always, but sometimes the organization grants a multiplication factor to bifins. And that's where things become very uh, interesting and strategic. Let's say they give you 1.2, a factor 1.2 for a bifins dive. Your 60 meter bifins dive will get 72 points. And that is huge because let's say 70 would be your limit in equalization. You know you can't equalize beyond 70 meters, so there is no use in trying a 72 meter monofin dive. You might just go for a 60 meter bifins dive if there is a 1.2 multiplication factor. So if your closest competitor is somewhere in the late 60s or 70 monofin, then you have a possible chance to beat this person by doing a 60 meter bifins dive multiplied with 1.2. Now, Another thing that is interesting in competitions, and once again, it's not necessarily in all competitions, it depends on the organization. We also have multiplication factors for other disciplines, like for instance, no fins. I'm gonna illustrate this with an example. So in two weeks, we will be having the Philippine Depth National Championship, the first edition. I really want to support the guys of uh, Ada Philippines. They're doing an awesome job in promoting freediving here in the Philippines. Also the guys from Super Home here, the Chinese center where I am filming right now. These people are putting amazing amounts of effort in promoting freediving, so thumbs up for those guys. So in two weeks, the Philippine National Depth Championship, they will be giving 1.15 uh, multiplication factor for bifins and 1.25 for no fins. So that's where it really gets interesting. All right, so does that make sense? So this year there will be a lot more uh, records in bifins and obviously more record holders because we have an additional discipline. And I think that's a very good thing for the sports. I think it's a good decision that Ada took to um, consider this bifins discipline as a separate discipline. It's good for promoting the sport. It's good for attracting uh, new people. And we as freedivers and freedive instructors and people who run businesses, we can only benefit from this. So I highly welcome this change. Now I'm interested in knowing what you think about all of this. Are you happy there is a new discipline called Bifins or would you like things to be like they were before? Let me know in the comments down below. I really love to connect with you guys down there. And not just me and you, but you can also connect with other people here in the comments. So definitely check out the comments down below and connect with your fellow freedivers. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have an idea for a new video in this channel, please let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel. Peace in every breath. <laughs>